was thinking about Delhi Daredevils and uh, I told myself, I hope they have a good start to the season because the last three or four have been fairly forgettable and they've been rocked even before a ball has been bowled. At the key to their planning was the presence of JP Dumini at four and Quinton de Kock at one. That meant they had a match-winning batsman, a spin-bowling all-rounder and a keeper all in their top six. That's the kind of balance you dream of. And now all of a sudden, no Dumini, no Quinton de Kock. Make no mistake, de Kock is doing, is starting to do the kind of things that an Adam Gilchrist was doing. And I wouldn't have been surprised if he had won them three or four matches off his own bat and that's colossal in the IPL. So all of a sudden their balance has been, has been thrown all around. Remember too that right at the end of the tournament, it is still alive, they start to lose all their South African players as well. So apart from those two, even Rabada and Morris, Sam Billings goes midway through the season, Angelo Matthews is a bit of an injury cloud. So there's lots of imponderables around the Delhi Daredevils. And uh, well, apart from players coming and going, fitness will be a big factor. Mohamed Shami has been really in and out right through the season. They not only want him to be fit, they want him to be firing and bowling the end overs. Zaheer Khan will be one of five bowlers and he hasn't, play, he hasn't played this season at all and it's not easy even if you're as great a bowler as Zaheer Khan was to suddenly come back and play cricket at this level. So they'll want a little bit of cushion for Zaheer Khan and that would have been provided by the two players they've missed rather. Nonetheless, I hope that the Kotla this year is going to have a lot of carry because they've picked not only these two or three fast bowlers, they've also picked a lot of seam bowling all-rounders. Angelo Matthews and Corey Anderson, if, if those two can bowl, it still makes a big difference to them. But also they've got, uh, they've got Pat Cummins, they've got Chris Morris, they've got uh, Carlos Brathwaite. They've got a lot of these seam bowling all-rounders, so they'll want a track that on which the ball will carry quite a bit. Now, what is their best 11? Given that they've lost so many of these players and not quite sure what the final replacements are going to be, this is the 11 that I have come up with. I think they'll start with Sam Billings because he can be a destructive batsman. Not that they need him as a keeper, they've got loads of those Delhi Daredevils apart from seed bowling all-rounders like keepers as well. So I, I think they'll go with, with Sam Billings and Shreyas Iyer to open the batting. They'll want Rishabh Pant to have a fantastic season. And then Angelo Matthews or Corey Anderson, one of those two in there, ideally Matthews. Uh, Karun Nair and Sanju Samson, it's a bit thin that top six over, over a 14 match period. Then uh, Morris and Cummins as their seam bowling all-rounders, uh, well, Cummins, little stretch but he can bat. Then Mishra, Shami and Zaheer and you'll notice that a bit like Sunrisers, we've only got one spinner in there and that is why Dumini was so important. So the key for the Delhi Daredevils, two things, one is they've got a notch to win as early as possible in the IPO and they've got to focus on who they have rather than who they don't. Before they lost Dumini and Dukok, I thought, right, this could be the season for Delhi Daredevils. Now in their absence, everybody else will have to rally around and provide their loyal fans with a good season. <music>